name is Sticky Ricky, but you already know that. What you don't know is I'm gonna give you the most beneficial, important, golden video that you've ever seen in your entire life. Fingers on your chest, and you're doing full rotations. 10 reps, full rotations. My fingers are here, so it's specifically just my shoulder rotation. 10, opposite direction, 10, right? That, phalanges on chesticles. Okay, up high, down low. Up, jeez. All right, ah, moving on. Son of a beast. Woo! Dumbbell to chest, up and down, full circles. Stay close to the chesticles, fellas. Small dumbbells, probably the most important investment you can make. The easiest investment, but the most important investment you can make in your gym. Because listen, if you only have heavy dumbbells, how are you gonna do the rehab, prehab, shoulder mobility stuff? You can't. You need the light dumbbells to get the things ticking, to get them freaking clicking, right? So we got dumbbell to chest, up and down, full circles. So again, phalanges to chesticles, that is why, so that you're not using any other musculature of the limbs, boom, same idea. Full rotation, same idea, same idea, keeping elbows high, you understand? Not going low, right? So you're not using buys and tries, right? Keep it close to the chesticles, fellas, close to the chesticles, we're not going out here, right? Keep it close to the chesticles, biggest range of motion you can of the shoulders, biggest range of motion you can of the shoulders, 10 reps. So you got 10 up to down, you got 10 down to up. Excellent, all right, moving on. We got fully rotated, pronated to supinated curls. Do I even need to explain that? But here, pronated, right? Fully rotated to supinated, easy. You can use heavier weight, you don't have to use light ones for that. But again, for the most part, this is just a warm up complex. Get the shoulders clicking, get that sucker ticking, right? So, pronated, supinated, 10. Again, you can use a little bit heavier weights. Okay, we got Elbows up, bear hugs. Fellas, again, don't go low. Elbows up, out, hug. Squeeze this SOB. Squeeze, okay? You see what I'm saying? I'm not going low here, not using arms. So, elbows up. Oh, yeah. Come here. Come here. 10 reps, and then same thing. Out, 10 reps. Out, 10 reps. Out, 10 freaking reps. Gotcha. Next, lateral pronated above head as high as you freaking possibly can comfortably. Okay, lateral raise, pronated. Again, pronated, as high as you can. None of this, none of this, right? None of this bodybuilding stuff. We want healthy, full range of motion. Full range of motion, ball and socket joint. This sucker can move high, this sucker can move low. Uh, uh, I can go, listen, you can move in any direction, all right? Pronated, easy peasy, right? You, you know, y'all know that one. Ten, but again, controlled, not ballistic, not dynamic. Yeah, yeah, ten freaking reps, right there. Okay, then front raise as high as comfortably can. Pronated, easy peasy, right? But again, as high as you comfortably can. So if you can get it all the way comfortably above your head, by all means. Do so. Work the entire shoulder girdle, fellas. Entire shoulder girdle. Okay. Then we got controlled high pull snatch. Keep those elbows as high as possible. Then move the hands. So that's why it's important to get comfortable with this. Again, why it's important to learn how to control your shoulders, keeping all of this close to the bod. All right. See what I'm saying? Elbows as high as you can. Then, right? Elbows as high as you can. Boom. So just a snatch. High pull. Snatch, right? It's just a warm up. Not ballistic, not dynamic. See ya! She! No. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, you understand what I'm saying? Get those puppies warmed up, guys. Come on, please. Woo! And we got bent over flies. Easy, right? I mean, this is uh, bent over, right? Hitting rear delts. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm gonna smack myself. All right, it's hard for me to hinge fully because I got weights everywhere. All right, bent over, 10. Squeeze the squats! Frick. All right, tricep kickbacks, easy. Elbows higher than the back, All right? So basically here. Again, you can use more weight. You don't have to use your light weight for the shoulders here. But again, getting the shoulder warmed up. So get all that chain musculature warmed up as well before you get into your thick 
benching, overhead press, all those heavy things. You gotta get the freaking sheath. Woo! Okay. Supinated lateral raise, all right? Kind of an awkward position. Supinated, supinated. See that? Got lateral raise. Keep it supinated the whole time, all right? Supinated the whole time. Above the head as high as you comfortably can. 10 reps, and then you can rotate and you can do pronated lateral raise whole time. I'm gonna strengthen the shoulder in all positions, right? Get you bulletproof. Bulletproof shoulders. Frick. Supinated, front raise. Hey, same idea. As high as you come, feel the cat. This one feels a little more awkward. If I'm pronated, I can get that sucker high. If I'm supinated, feels a little more awkward. But supinated, get a strong every position. Supinated, front raise, 10 reps. All right, then we got the breast stroke. Big fan of this one, breast stroke. You gotta get hinged, get your head up like it's above the water. All right, understand what I'm saying? Um, we got position here. Hinged, head up, sit above the water. All right, elbows up, neutral out, and then rotate. Today, neutral out, rotate. Neutral out, rotate. Keep the elbows high the whole time. Yes. Yeah, be the most freaking powerful swimmer in gym class. You got what I'm saying? 10 reps. 10 reps of a breast stroke. Pronated to supinated, and then reverse the grip, front raise. Easy peasy, right? Pronated, supinated, pronated, supinated, and then opposite. Supinated to pronated. So 10 of each. 10 of each, fellas. 10 of each. Woo! Then the same thing, pronated to supinated lateral raise. Pronated, supinated on your way up, rotate on your way down. Rotate, boom. All right, 10 reps, fellas. Bent over row, supinate on the bottom, and then pronate at the top so you're flared, elbows are flared. So, sorry about this camera angle, I can't change it, can't change it. But I'm bent over row, and I'm here on the bottom. And as I come up, and I'm here, and I'm flared. All right, as much as possible. Rotate. All the way in the bottom, flare, 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 flare. All right, easy. Last one. So basically, I don't think he has a name for this, but it's, uh, it's like you're doing a hammer curl basically, all right? Hammer curl, but you're going all the way up, and then you're doing like a reverse grip, overhead press, and then you're rotating your grip on your way down so that you can go right back into your curl, up, rotate. Uh, up, rotate. All right, you guys see that? Can I get a nice close-up view of this? Kitty! Kitty! So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Kitty! Because she's deaf and she can't hear me anyways, so I just wanted her to know I'm here. All right, you see that? See that? All right, now here's the deal, fellas! <laughs> here's the deal. Let me just fly through this as quickly as I can. All right, babes, it's time to get intense! Here we go, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, sir. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fully rotated, probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's three left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Easy peasy. Woo! One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, oh. Breast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, jeez. Woo. Yeah, 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 yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Six, seven, no you don't, just wait. Eight, nine, ten. And then you can, you can alternate from pronated to supinated. I'll well, skip it, pronated, supinated, lateral. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, kitty! Bent over row, supinated to pronated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then, woo! The pressing one, the hammer. One, Two, Kitty, three, Kitty, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah. All right, fellas, like I said, we got this one time through. Dripping sweat, yes! Ready to take on the freaking world, but here's the deal. As you can hear, I gotta take my little peanut to her friend's birthday party. So you best believe I'm gonna show up on a stringer tank top, pumped deltoids, saying, let's freaking eat some cake! Jeez. All right. Woo. So like I said, guys, this is good stuff though. You do that sequence, right? Shoulders are gonna be cooked. And I'm talking like ready to, you know, we're gonna take on the world, overhead press it, bench press it, whatever you wanna do in the world. But then also you find certain movements that feel too freaking good and they can add a little more weight. Like I'm a big fan of these circles, right? Big fan of these circles. And these fives are pretty light, but you wanna go light. But like I'm saying, you find some stuff like, uh, boom. You find some of this stuff that you can go a little bit heavier with. Don't rush it, don't use sloppy form. But I'm freaking telling you guys, jacked and stacked, ultra capped delts. 
How does that sound?